So, uh, and then you have going to the pulmonary trunk in the heart is you cannot confuse because the pulmonary trunk is like it crosses the thoracic part of the cat. So the opening, the flap in the opening of the pulmonary trunk is called the pulmonary semilunar bulb. And then you have the aorta. So the flap, uh, the cast that is found in the aorta is called the aortic semilunar bulb. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And don't forget also the uh, half men. Well, like I said, anyway, uh, one hour before your actual practical exam, I will go over with you what I always, don't you notice that when I give you a practical exam, I always give you what's in the exam itself? Mm. Mm. So I emphasize that, okay? So we have, of course, a spleen, and this is so called the greater curvature. Is This is the liver, correct? Mm -hmm. And underneath the liver is, there is, where is the uh, thick? Uh, vessel on the, under the liver. It should be in some specimens. It is uh, no, it's not that one. Um, here. So underneath the liver, this is the hepatic portal vein. Correct. And the veins that goes into the small intestines, the blue ones are the superior mesenteric veins. And the one that branches out at the bottom is the splenic vein, where it goes into the spleen. Where's the spleen now? Now, where is, what's this? The pinkest one. This, it's a long one. Internal. So don't forget to memorize what are the branches from the superior vena cava. What we have over here now on top of the superior vena cava? It's the one that we remove. The thymus gland. And what do you call the vein attached to it? Remember there's a small vein here attached to it? The internal mammary vein. Correct? And then, of course, you know that the left and right common carotid artery continues up to the up to up to here. You see that? This is the right common carotid, and this is the left common carotid, and of course, it branches out mm -hmm. from here. You see that? Hmm. So, two branches: left common carotid. Brachiocephalic, brachiocephalic artery. This is the uh, right common carotid. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And what's this? Esophagus. The esophagus, and this is the trachea. trachea. Now, if you are asked, when I give you your answer sheets on Thursday next week. I will let you encircle again whether you are going to identify whether it is left and right, or when I tell you to be specific, like what are the different different lobes of the liver and the different lobes of the lung, isn't it? The superior lobe and the inferior lobe, correct? <coughs> superior, inferior, median lobe, and this one is the left lobe, median lobe, and the right lobe. Okay. What else? Did we not 
So of course, uh, you already know what do you call the straight. It can be asked also in the lecture exam. What do you call the first the straight uh, region ward mm -hmm. uh, of the small intestine, the duodenum, correct? And then how do you know if it's already the ileum part? If you're gonna, that's why when you have your practical exam, you should have your gloves because so, so that you can hold it like this, okay? And then you have, just have to trace it and try to look at where the junction is. Mm. You can see already that this is already your cecum, correct? Mm -hmm. And this is the ilium part, and then of course you know what that is. Okay? Mm -hmm. mm. It's the same. What is that? There's a kidney. kidney. The right kidney. Ah. That's your left. And you notice that the adrenal gland is only on the left side. See that? That white, this white bean like structure. And then I told you it, it branches into two oh. major arteries. Mm -hmm. The upper one is the celiac trunk, the lower one is the superior mesenteric artery, and this is the the inferior mesenteric artery. Now, I didn't mention that there is no lumbar aorta, but there are what we call lumbar veins and lumbar arteries, and here they are. It's along the dorsal wall. You see that? Mm. That's the lumbar vein, that's the lumbar artery. It's along in here, and this a dorsal side. And But there is no such thing as lumbar aorta. Instead of lumbar aorta, it is called the common iliac artery. The common iliac artery branches into like two letter wise. You see that two letter wise? Mm -hmm. huh? mm. The external common iliac, left and right, the internal common iliac arteries. Okay. So what you should do when you review is, now uh, remember the packet I gave you for the lab, memorize the branching of the veins and the superior vena cava and the branching of the arteries on the aortic arts and then you can you can if you imagine that you pick, make a picture in your brain like oh if i go down what's in the here what's the um uh, gas uh, what do you call that the gland and then what branches to it and as it goes down what branches going down to the legs and so on okay okay 60 questions Yes. So try first.